Welcome back to the channel. It's Tynesha Lachey. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. As I love to say, you'll love it over here, which you will. And as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about how you can grow your YouTube in three months or under. Um, if you do see me looking down, I am looking at my little notepad that I do have here. Um, but yeah, we're going to get straight into it. Um, if you are new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that like button. Turn your post notifications bell on because I always come always come with the gems and most definitely leave me a comment i always read my comments but today we're gonna go ahead and talk about how to grow your youtube channel in three months or under so i've been on youtube for a while now like a couple of years but around probably i'd say june july august is when i really started taking my youtube seriously i dropped a video last year in january of or February at the beginning of last year of 2021 that video now has reached over 5,000 views and I'm so grateful I'm so thankful um, and I also dropped a how to get started video with Amazon influencer program almost three months ago and that video has surpassed everything like any idea that I thought it would even like like even the audience that I've reached, like that video has grown tremendously. Um, it has over 4,000 views right now and counting. And honestly, that video is what took my YouTube channel from where it was to where it is now. But in those three months, I gained over 175 followers plus more because um, I haven't looked at it in a couple of hours. And when I do look at it, I do have a couple of new subscribers almost every day. Um, and I also get comments almost constantly on my Amazon Influencer program, as well as other videos that I've done as well. So as you can see, that video has helped out my channel a lot. And my channel is still growing. Not only is my channel still growing, I'm still constantly um, active on YouTube. I'm still posting my videos um, within a timely manner. I'm still making TikToks. Um, and honestly, that video just helped skyrocket my YouTube channel. So welcome again. And I'm going to teach you how to grow your YouTube in three months or under. So first, we're going to talk about theme concepts. So let's say you have, you created your YouTube account and you don't necessarily know what you want to talk about. That's going to be the important part. That's going to be our number one. So for theme concept, um, however you want to put it, and again, this is basically my opinion, uh, how my YouTube channel went, my journey, and honestly, how I'm growing now, because honestly, that me just growing my YouTube channel has opened doors. And when I say open doors, I mean open doors, okay? I have had brand deals reaching out to me. I have had companies reaching out to me. Um, if you guys are familiar with my channel, you've seen that I've done plenty of hair reviews. Companies are sending me free hair. Like, honestly, YouTube can take you to different routes and just put you in different places in your life where honestly, you probably wouldn't even think or fathom that it could happen for you, but it can. So, theme and concept we want to kind of find what your niche is or kind of find like what you're going to be talking about on your channel what are you going to be doing whether that's hair business uh clothes makeup and don't forget you can have more than one your youtube channel does not just have to be on oh i do hair um every post needs to be about hair it can but honestly with you opening your youtube to more suggestions and more options like let's say you do hair and you also talk about like hair products or just different stuff makeup businesses on how to start or get into the hair business that is also going to lead to success because not only are you talking about more than one topic that people are interested in you're also having more content that you can put out that's double the content for more you know what i'm saying for more than one theme or concept of your youtube so just think about what you want to do, what you're passionate about, what you can, what you feel comfortable with, like uploading daily. 
because if you're comfortable with it and you love it it shouldn't be a problem for you to update your for you to update your videos for you to post your content so just think about kind of what you're interested in what you like what you're good at and take that and run with it and second it's gonna be your content. So after you get what's your theme of your YouTube, your concept of it, YouTube is gonna be, now it's time for the big boys to start rolling in. It's gonna be your content. I know, I know, I know. You guys have heard this a lot, but consistency. You have to be consistent, especially on an app like YouTube, you have to be consistent. That's the only way your YouTube is gonna grow the only way your YouTube is going to grow. Yes, some people may have a viral video and they may get a couple of followers, you know, a couple of subscribers, but you being constant is what's going to keep people coming to your YouTube. And also with your content, if you already have a YouTube, let's say you, you have a YouTube already and you have videos on your YouTube that's probably like from a year ago, three years ago, it's time to upload that content because believe it or not people who come to youtube to solve a problem a problem that they're having if i come across your youtube let's say i search how to do my makeup in 2022 and i come across your youtube and you're giving some good tips you know I, i'm liking what i'm seeing and i visit your youtube channel and you have a video that's your your recent video or your last video is from two years ago I'm probably 10, probably nine times out of 10, not gonna subscribe to you because it's like, well, you haven't posted, you know, in so long, like, even if I do subscribe, I still wouldn't see any videos from you. So I may watch the videos you already have, but as far as me like subscribing and all of that, I'm not gonna do that for what? You're not posting any content, so what do I have to look forward to? So that's why posting your content it's very, 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 very important. And also with content, try to make content that gets people attention. We're all on TikTok. We all know what's going on. Honestly, that's how I made my YouTube video, the Amazon Influencer Program, because I was just scrolling on TikTok as always. And before then, I was even looking into like influencer how to be an influencer, how to get into the influencer business, like just just how to get into it. And I constantly saw people talking about the Amazon Influencer Program. And I was just like, well, what? what is these people talking about? So the first time, if you guys watched the Amazon Influencer Program, that's on my YouTube. If not, go check that out. Pause this video, go check that out. Uh, so I went to Amazon. I did my research. I applied. I got denied. I went back to TikTok like, what in the world? What am I doing wrong? You guys are getting accepted. I did my research. I went back, got accepted. And now I've helped over 50 people get accepted into the Amazon Influencer Program. <laughs> and now I have like a couple of more subscribers on my channel. I have six viral videos on my YouTube right now. I have hair companies reaching out to me. I have people from Amazon reaching out to me to work with me for hair reviews. So getting and doing your research on important topics that again, follows along with what we said before, your theme, your concept. It's what's gonna draw attention to your YouTube channel and what's gonna get those subscribers up, your um, your videos, uh, like everything. It's gonna get everything up for you. So your content is most definitely important. Go on TikTok, see what's viral, see, what's people, see what people are talking about, what gets people going. If it's in your uh, content, your niche that you're that you're doing, look it up on TikTok. If you're in the makeup business, look up makeup, makeup on TikTok. See what people are talking about. What new products are people using? You know, it's 2022. What foundation can I use that will last all day? What foundation is full coverage? You know, like look those things up. Even if you have to go to Google and type in problems that are going on in the makeup industry and in the makeup world now, put your content make your content where if someone has a problem and they come to youtube your page is what they come across your videos are what they come across and i kid you not that's going to draw more and more attention to your youtube channel and it's honestly just going to help you grow overall and the last one that i have the third 
It's going to be your editing and thumbnails. Be you. Be creative. That's what sets you apart from everyone else. Again, for you to make your, your YouTube, it's not for you to make your YouTube and fit in with Susan and, and Sally. It's for you to make your YouTube, be yourself, and put out the content that you need to get out and that you want to get out to everyone. So remember, when you're editing your videos and you put in things in your videos and you're using your thumbnails, do it how you would like everyone else to perceive you. Don't try to look at other people's YouTube and be like, oh, I'm just gonna follow all of their concepts because they have this many subscribers and that are like, no, be you. Cause honestly, that's gonna, that's gonna separate you from everyone else in this YouTube game. It's a lot of people that's the, that does YouTube, a lot of people, but it's up to you honestly to set yourself apart from everyone else. I know what my videos bring to YouTube. I know the knowledge that I have. I know the power that I have. I know my videos are helping people in everyday real life. So honestly, I'm not worried about trying to fit in. I'm not worried about trying to look like everyone else. And I've had that problem where I came across YouTubers and I'm like, okay, this is what needs to happen, you know? And I have a full story, you know, of my life that Honestly, I haven't gotten a chance to relay and to speak to you guys about, but image has been one of the hardest things that I have had to deal with and I'm still dealing with for YouTube. And what's really crazy to me um, about my Amazon Influencer Program video on YouTube that I have that has blown up and went viral on YouTube, I didn't even promote that video. I normally don't even promote my YouTube. Like I have a couple of, I have a good decent amount of followers on TikTok and most definitely on Instagram. That's my main platform that I use. And honestly, I don't promote my YouTube on my Instagram, mainly because of image. And I'm kind of scared of how people will portray me to look, you know, I'm kind of scared or I was scared on how people will perceive me. Do, do I have the right look to do YouTube? And just doing some self-reflection, I do. And honestly, that's what stopped me from making YouTube videos. And honestly, that's what stops a lot of girls and a lot of people from doing what they love to do. At the end of the day, you just have to be you. And if it takes some deep soul searching, which I'm still doing myself, do that. Get a chance to know yourself, what you like to do, how you like to do things, how you want your information and how you want people to perceive and take your YouTube content. If you want people to take your YouTube content seriously, you take it seriously. Upload, be consistent, do what you have to do. You know, and when it comes to editing thumbnails, that's that's one of the most important things because it honestly lets people take a kind of peek inside of how your life is. You can edit, put your thumbnails, you can do all of that to your videos the way you would like to do. And me personally, I edit my videos, I create my thumbnails, I do all of it. And honestly, I love it. Yes, editing does take a while. It takes a couple of hours sometimes for that perfect kind of form to come together. But it's really up to you. Editing and thumbnails is how you get your story across. It's how people find you. It's how people connect with you. If your thumbnail is on point, I'm clicking on your video. That's a new subscriber. That's a new view. And that honestly, it, that gets you to where you would like to be at with YouTube. And thumbnails, there are some good, good apps out there that you can download. Um, I mainly use iMovie and I also use about three or four other editing and thumbnail um, apps. Canva has some good uh, content stuff as well. So if you're scrolling, go on Canva because Canva has a lot of stuff. For my TikTok videos and stuff, I go on Canva sometimes for YouTube things that I need, Canva. So do your research, find you some good apps, edit, make them thumbnails pop out because thumbnails do bring traffic to your YouTube and that's what we want. Get your concept together. What do you want your YouTube to be about? Start making your content. Your content doesn't have to be long. Six to eight minutes and past that is good. And just taking your time going through editing, create a good thumbnail, get you a good caption. If you have to look at, um, just do your research on YouTubers and look how they uh, do their thumbnails, 
do that. But again, remember what I said earlier, be you, be you, be you. Um, but that's really all I have for how to grow your YouTube. And I can most definitely insert some of my receipts that I have for my YouTube growing. So you guys can take a look at that. I have pictures, I have screenshots, I have videos, I have it all. But that's honestly how I grew my YouTube um, channel in three months and under. This can be you. All you have to do is put the work in, believe in yourself. That's a big one. Believe in yourself because if no one believes in you, you have to believe in yourself to push yourself and stay motivated. But that's all for this video, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Most definitely comment. If you have something to say, please let me know because I look at those comments all day. When I tell y'all I go throughout my day refreshing my YouTube studio, looking at those comments, I do. And if you look at my previous videos, I respond to every single comment. Every comment. And I love hate comments too, so yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you again.